Hello guys. Something I didn't touch upon in my last video talking about nitro gloves and about the safety aspects of wearing them and removing a print. I have two different boxes here. One from Harbor Freight and one from a medical supply store that I use. Just want to touch on a little bit. And be sure you wear your safety glasses. First and foremost, put on your safety glasses. I've got a print that I just got done overnight. I wanted to show you guys my process for cleaning everything and just putting on my gloves and taking off my gloves. My hands are currently dry so the gloves will go on easy. If your hands are wet or moist, you'll have trouble putting them on. So first off, the print is done. I confirm it. Take off the lid. Take off the lid to my ultrasonic cleaner. And this has been sitting all night and drip, so there's no there's no resin dripping off of it. Take my plastic scraper. And there I carefully remove my prints. As you can see, since I was touching the print and touching the build plate, I did get resin on my gloves. So rather than just wiping it off and calling it good, I'm going to replace the gloves and put a new pair on before I turn on the knob and ultrasonic cleaner, just so I don't spread resin all over the place. When you take off your gloves, rather than grab them up here near your skin, don't do that, because then you're going to put res resin on your wrist. You may get a burn from it or a skin irritation. Then you have to immediately wash it and then go from there. Grab it and near your palm, pull the glove back. Now I have a clean free hand. Now I can come over the second glove up near my wrist where there was no resin or any chemicals and pull the first glove, the second glove over the first glove. And then in the garbage it goes. I'm going to grab a second pair. I blew in it just to help open it up a little bit. Now I have on a fresh pair of gloves. Come over to my ultrasonic cleaner, get it turned on. I'm going to let that run for about 15 minutes and we'll come right back. Okay, why the ultrasonic cleaner is still going, I'm going to grab one of my paper towels and I can clean up my spatula here. Any resin I got on the spatula, I can wipe it off real good. I'll put it in my ultrasonic cleaner vat in a little bit and I can clean it even better. My build plate, wipe off any excess that's on it. Grab another paper towel, check the knob, just in case. Tighten the knob up, you're ready for the next print. Keep everything nice and clean and tidy. And we'll be back in one second. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's check it. Got a pair of tongs here for grabbing the print, so I don't put my hands in the cleaner. Turn it off. Set that on a paper towel. Got my pickle jar here. Which I have a of water with a little basket in it. Set that in there. Dunk it and get the excess cleaner off.
part is a little bit taller than the water, so I'm going to turn it over. Grab some fresh water real quick. One second. Okay, before I put it in the curing tank, I'm going to take all these supports off because they're still going to be very soft. And be sure you wear your safety glasses when doing this at all times. You don't want a little part or something hitting you in the eye. Or any chance some resin getting in your face or in your eyes. That one looks good. It'd be nice about having this little basket in this pickle jar is when I get it full of uh, supports, I can just lift it up, drain off the water, dump it straight in the garbage. I don't have it all over the place. Now, when it comes to FDM printers, when I pull off supports, they wind up on the table, the floor, across the room, under the couch, on the dog. You know how that is. They kind of wind up everywhere. These are for one of my Mortal Kombat models by GTR. These are fans. Like the woman has in her hands. Looks really good. See, the detail came out really nice. Now on to my curing oven. And I'll leave them in there for about a half hour. I'll flip them after 15, 20 minutes and take a look at them and go from there. And as far as for all the supports, right there in the basket, there's none on the table, none on the floor, ready to go in the garbage. And once again, when you remove your gloves, pinch your palm, pull one glove off, grab the second glove, and pull it over the first glove. And there you have them, in the bin or the trash they go. And this was, like I say, just a quick little video to let you know about the nitro gloves and how I, you know, handle them. I worked in construction in Las Vegas for about 30 years, and I've had to wear safety gloves, glasses, and uh, earplugs for many different things that we had to do. I know quite a bit about the gloves and wearing safety pr protective equipment, P my PP&E, personal protective equipment. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. So thanks for watching, and happy printing, everybody.